you guys are doing pretty good. Look at these son of a guns, folks. These corals are just happy here. Look at these mushrooms. They're just blooming. They're just loving life. I mean, look at this guy, man. Look at him. He, he doesn't know what's going on. He's like, what the hell happened here? He's just corals all happy. And here's this guy here. He's just all laying out. And people call these the trumpet. I call them candy coral. These candy corals are just doing fine. This one back there is doing fine. They're all doing fine. This guy needs flow. The hammerhead here needs flow. I need to get some flow in this tank. I turned it up. The flow a couple days ago, then I turned it back down. But I thought he might be fine. I got this. Uh, I got this set for every 30 seconds and she to kick off. But you know, folks, LPS doesn't need that much flow. They're not like SPS, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, look at these guys over here. Oh man, scarecrows, man, they're just hanging out. All happy, these old folks. I don't know what the hell's going on with the other one. The other one's like, you can see him like slanted off the rock. He used to be straight up. He must not like standing straight up, this guy in the middle right here. Did a rock fall? Oh, I gotta move that damn rock. I don't know what the hell is going on. That rock didn't move. The guy, I mean, that coral is just like, I don't know what the hell is this problem. I guess he's like, I don't know, he's like, it's all twisted. See that, folks? It's all twisted. Anyway, if he's fine, if he's happy like that, I'm gonna leave him like that. He's happy. But everybody's happy. Here's the one that we had in the in the sump for a week in a couple days. He's doing fine. We'll keep a close eye on this. This coral here, when I bought this coral, this hammerhead coral, um, he had three heads. I gotta double check the video, but I think it was three heads, not two. I wanted to say two, but I think it was three. He was a three-headed creature. But now I'm telling you folks, everybody's happier. Everybody's happy and everybody's asking where, what happened to Beanie. Well folks, Beanie's still right here. He's in that rock. Yeah, the Tang didn't kill him yet. But they're chasing around folks. And here's my hermit crab. There's, there's my hermit emerald crab. He's about to attack Beanie right now. Yeah, I never did videos about my emerald crab, crab. I don't know why, because they never come out. I got three of these emerald crabs in my tank. And every time I feed them, I mean feed the tank, they come out. Let's see if we find another, the third one. Oh, time to buy some more hermit crabs. We got a lot of shells ready. Oh, uh, here's the second one right back there. So this sucker's out. He's right there climbing. And then I have one more. And you see, there's no one in here. These suckers right up here. Hanging out, right, waiting for the gate to open. But it's not opening. And can we find the other emerald crab? No, we can't. I gotta do something with that. What the hell's going on? These guys didn't take care of this green stuff that's laying around in the rock. Some over here. Yeah, I'm gonna do the water change tomorrow. Take care of some of these green stuff flying around. But you see my tank. Clear. But it's not as clear as I, as I wanted. That's why we're doing carbon and the sump here. You still, I still have it here. I didn't move it yet to this chamber. But the carbon, I don't know. Like I recorded my last video. I don't think it works. The crystal clear water, I think that's all a myth. You know, that's my opinion, folks. 
But anyway, the, the reason why these corals are doing so good is because I remember before when my nitrates were super high. People say 15 ppm is not that high, but my corals weren't doing fine at 15 ppm. It just they weren't as blossom as this. But then ever since I fixed the problem the issue, and the way I fixed the issue brought my nitrates down is adding these rocks and add some other stuff in here. Some other algae to bring my nitrates down. But, there, but these rocks down here, these rocks that I added brought down my, my nitrates really down. It brought it down to zero. I had zero nitrates. And ever since I had zero nitrates, I saw my corals coming around, doing, doing a little better than it was before. But then people are yelling at me, oh, you, you have, you, they, need, they like dirty water, they like dirty water. I go, I, I understand it. I didn't meant to bring my nitrates down to 15 ppm, but it, it just happened. Nature took place and brought my nitrates down to zero. So it gave me the ability to feed these fishes. A little heavier, which I have been doing. And they're happy, they're getting fed. A lot more than I used to feed them. And then, I was monitoring the take, and I really didn't monitor the phosphates that, that, that much. You know, because if I see my nitrates are up, then I know when my phosphates are up. You know, if my nitrates are down, my phosphates are down. So I've been monitoring everything in this tank, you know, calcium, my um, magnesium. I try to keep my magnesium at 1500 ppm because it seems like they're doing fine with 1500. But then, but in the last couple, last month or so, I was not really checking phosphates or nitrates in this tank. Now it's feeding the tank pretty heavy, and then all of a sudden, you know, I, like a couple days ago, when you know, I don't know when. A couple days went by, I'm like, let me check the phosphates in this tank. I checked it, and it was at 0.27. I'm like, holy shit! My phosphates are high, man. I'm, my, my water's really dirty. I can get all the green stuff in here. And uh, you see the green stuff's in here. But, but, I, but, but, but when, when I noticed my phosphates were high, I saw these guys are all happy. They're happy with high phosphates. They, they, they don't mind it. They were happy with the phosphate. So we just recently checked it, and I was at point one something. I don't remember, but it's on the screen. And they're doing fine. With my phosphates being a little high, because the recommended is point zero zero three with phosphates. You want it point zero zero three, you know, for the corals, for the fishes, for everything in your tank. But my phosphates are a little high, and my corals are loving it. They're just loving it. So that's the way, I, that's what I'm experiencing. Is I keep my, now I keep my phosphates at 1.3. And zero, ver, versus the recommended 0 .003. You know what I'm saying, folks? Because look at these guys. They're just happy as hell. I mean, look at this him over here. He's just like sunbathing. And everybody's happy. So I, I'm gonna leave the phosphates the way it is. I'm gonna dose my um, my magic sauce here to you know just to maintain it roughly at uh, one point point one three. I leave it as that. See how what happens in a few months. But so far, everybody's happy with it. The fish are happy. Corals are happy. I mean, look at this guy. He's just like happy. And there's my orange fishes, man. Like these guys here, one of these days, somebody will turn into male. That's how things happen in fish life. But anyway, I'm getting off the track here. Where's the third one, folks? You guys, you didn't see the third one? I had two, I had three in there. And I got two. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. I don't know, folks. That's for the next topic. I used to have three here. I got two here. Oh, and three. Here's my third one. I don't know what this guy was hiding. He must be hiding in this cave right here. 
Got me scared. I thought someone got him now. But anyway, so that's that's the topic. Coral's doing fine. My nitrates are my or not nitrates. My phosphates are elevated, and it seems like they're happy with it. I just got to deal with all the green fuzz in the tank, you know. So my man let me remove it because this guy here is he ain't eating it. I don't know what the hell's this problem. And Beanie, he ain't eating it because he's just sitting right here like a bum on the log. Well, this guy, he just put, he just pushed a hammer, hammer crab down off a rock. He's protecting, this one is protecting his coral. He threw that, threw that guy right off the rock. I can't believe it. What a watchdog this guy is. What a watchdog, wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's how my takes do it. That's why, that's why my cores are fine and happy. It's because my phosphates are elevated. Elevated, and we're keeping it that way. Uh, my nitrates is right around, uh, what is it, like 5 ppm. Yeah, right around 5 ppm, so it's not bad at all. And everybody's doing fine. All right, ladies and gents. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment. Please thumb up this video. I don't know why guys and ladies and gents and everybody don't thumb up this video. I need to get this um, YouTube channel rolling. You know, I appreciate if you thumb it, thumbs it up. You know, it helps out the algorithm. You know how that goes. YouTube algorithm. However you pronounce it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day.